Now, as the good weather continued through the Irish summer, there is hope that tourism figures for 2018 will show our growth in footfall around the country. In the meantime, according to figures released by Falter Ireland, we can now pinpoint exactly where overseas visitors were attracted to this time last year. Well, for more on this, I'm joined now by Conor McMahon, Deputy Editor with Fora.ie. Conor, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, so which counties performed best for tourism in 2017? So it's probably not a big surprise, uh, but Dublin came out uh, top. So it was the most visited county in Ireland. About 60% of international visitors went there in 2017. So that's uh, equal to 5.9 million out of a total 9.9 million. So quite uh, quite uh, staggering numbers there. In second position was Galway. Uh, so that was closer to 2 million. Uh, and likewise, Cork uh, got about 1.6 Kerry and Clare then finishing off the top five. So, uh, you know, counties that we probably visit ourselves, uh, it's quite interesting if you look at the international visitor numbers and compare it with domestic, the top five uh, looks pretty much the same. Ah, so we like the same as, as those who come from overseas. Um, what counties fared least or had the least amount of visitors? So at the bottom was Longford, uh, which was the least visited county overall. It had uh, 24,000 visitors in 2017. That's about 1,000 fewer than 2016. Um, And joining uh, Longford at the bottom, unfortunately, was Leitrim, Leash, Offaly and North Tipperary. So a lot of these counties would be regions that would be more dependent on British visitors. And as we know, last year there was a little bit of uh, fluctuation in in UK visitors into Ireland uh, in the wake of the, the Brexit referendum in 2016. Okay, so they may be vulnerable to that. How about the border counties? How did they fare? So the Midlands and Borders, if we, if we take them region by region, uh, Midlands and Border counties would have been the only areas uh, in the country that saw a decline in 2017. Again, it's, it's kind of the same thing. They're, they're looking at, uh, we're looking at uh, areas that are more uh, susceptible to UK uh, visitor numbers. They would depend on them a lot more. Um, and obviously then, you know, the, the changes in, in UK visitors into Ireland would have impacted these regions and, and resulted in the decline. So was it all the border counties that suffered? Um, so it's kind of a, a yes, a, you know, it's a mixed bag. Um, if we go county by county, you know, if we look at, at Donegal, uh, for example, that that would have been the top county in the border region. That would have seen a decline. Um, so, yeah, you can see it w- w- with each of the counties that are within uh, the region that, that Fall Charlotte defines. Uh, yes, there's, there's a decline in, in each of them. So, you know. Again, it's it's more than likely as a result of the uh, changes in, in the UK visitor numbers. Um, you know, anecdotally, we, we've heard this from uh, the likes of hoteliers, say, in Donegal, that they've they've witnessed a, a change in, in the number of visitors coming there last year. So these are probably the most concrete figures that we can get, uh, uh, the ones that are coming from Falcher Ireland. All right, so as you say, disappointing then for the border counties, but also counties in the Midlands. And I know that there was a government campaign recently uh, to try and improve how the region is branded in the Midlands. These figures sort of back that up, really, don't they? Yes. So the, the uh, as mentioned, you know, Longford was was one of the, the probably the most vocal counties uh, that was looking for the the Ireland's uh, Hidden Heartlands brand to be launched. Um, so yeah, if we look at these figures, it, it kind of uh, it, it would stress the importance uh, for the the tourism brand um, because you know as well as overseas visitors being in decline, there's also been a decline in domestic visitors. So. The Hidden Heartlands brand at the start, uh, at least uh, for, the, for the early years of it, will primarily focus on trying to build a, a domestic audience in these counties. So the idea is to, to build up uh, uh, you know, a stronger domestic base and then later on down the line try and attract more UK and mainland European visitors predominantly. All right. Uh, Conor McMahon, Deputy Editor with Fora.ie. Thank you very much for joining us with that. And if you're interested to see how you, exactly how your own county fared, uh, Fauci Ireland has published a full county-by-county breakdown of domestic and international tourism figures for 2017 on their website, so you can check that.